The garbage patch is created by the Pacific currents, carrying refuse from North America, Asia, and the islands, then concentrating it into a continent-sized swirl of flotsam estimated to contain three and a half million tons of junk, 80% of it plastic. Moore has focused his study on an area twice the size of Texas, about a thousand miles from North America. Sailing his research catamaran, Algida, Moore and a small crew drag a trawling device through the garbage patch to study the content of ocean water. And what they find, he describes as a plastic soup more plastic in some waters than plankton, the basic food organism of the ocean. It has a few insects in it, like halibates. It has some zooplankton. But overwhelmingly, what we're seeing here are plastic particles. The ocean has become a plastic soup. This is the soup. The problem with plastic in particular is that it doesn't quite float and doesn't sink either. Sunlight and salt water slowly break it down until bags become shreds and hard objects break down to multicolored chips. This is the new beach sand that we're seeing throughout the Pacific Islands. It's a sand made of plastic. And is there any real sand mixed in here? I see a little a bit, yeah. a tiny bit of volcanic origin sand and coral. Formerly, we got sand by breaking down rock and coral. Now we're getting sand by breaking down plastic. You're going to want to come to port. Starboard engine reverse. Some of it comes from ships, Got it. fishing floats, a styrofoam buoy. But the vast majority of plastic garbage in the ocean comes from land, bottles and cups dropped in the street, washed by rain into the storm sewer, into the rivers, and eventually the ocean. The ocean's downhill from everywhere. Things blow and drift into the ocean. They degrade into these particles and then become part of the ocean's load. And the consequences of this are currently unknown. They do know some obvious consequences. This is a jellyfish fouled and caught in rope. Birds and sea life take the plastic for food. Here I'm seeing something that appears to be a jellyfish. If I was a turtle, I would think that's probably a jellyfish. But that's a plastic bag. But it's a plastic, it's a balloon, maybe. Albatross chicks have been killed by a diet of plastic bits. And there's the question of what happens when the plastic breaks down even further. The bigger chips turn to smaller chips, and we eventually get dust. Our concern is that this dust then goes to the molecular level and invades the entire food web in the ocean. 